Hey everybody! With my gross gloves with holes. This is Caesar with small engine velocity. And I was just gonna go get gas because obviously the orange light is on here. Uh, but then I was like, hey, I'll record something. So I'm going to a very far away gas station, which is right there if you can see it. And we're gonna go ahead and get some gasoline. And then the wind is blowing uh, north today, so that's that direction or that direction if you can't see my hand uh and we're gonna do a speed rat tent run now why i mean i didn't really do that much different um but yeah i'm gonna do a speed test run and the reason i'm doing a speed test run is because it's in celebration of my friend master blaster who also did a speed test run today and he got uh at 9300 rpm dang it that gas pump's dead at 9,300 RPM, he got 45, 45.1, which is great for a guy who's just starting all this stuff. So, awesome. So, give me a second. I'm gonna go ahead and get some gasoline real quick. I'll make this a quick, short montage. Good. <laughs> it's a Honda Ruckus. Yeah, a Honda Ruckus, and it doesn't look like this. I've kind of done a lot of stuff. Like the motor is supposed to sit right here. So the tires underneath your seat, but then I offset the motor so that I could put a bigger wheel. <laughs> yeah, uh, where the where the where the motor mounts, which is here, is now back here hanging off of a support beam right here. So <laughs> <laughs> no, not that bad. Not that bad at all. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Uh, I have it tuned to about 57, but it's 49 cc. Yeah, yeah. It's a water cooled 49 cc. Yeah. No, it's a four stroke. Yeah, believe it or not, there's a uh, radiator underneath the intake where the the stator is. I'm sorry? Yeah, I have some air-cooled bikes like the Honda Grom, and they get really hot when you... Yeah, you just sit around and then all that heat's just vaporizing on you and you're like... Ugh. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is my hobby. This is my hobby. <laughs> Thanks. Sorry for the interruption, but a gentleman wanted to uh, talk about the Honda Ruckus. I didn't mean to say that I had some frame blocks cut, but whatever. <laughs> this is a debit card. No. Let's put some Supreme in today. Let's see if that helps. Okay. All right, guys, we are now full of gas, and we're gonna come around the corner, and hopefully uh, everything is good. All right, guys, so, had a little conversation at the gas station, awesome. Uh, remember, that's one of the five things to expect whenever you're uh, riding a Honda Ruckus. I'll link that video up here. And one of those five things is that people will always be bugging ya. Bugging ya, for sure. What is that? I embellished a little bit. But, yeah, you know, what? It makes me feel cool. And how is he ever supposed to know if that's exactly what happened or not? <laughs> but Master Blaster, this ride is dedicated to you. I wanted to see if I could also hit 45 miles per hour at 9,300 miles. Okay, oh, hey. So, changes on the bike since last. I'm using 93 octane, uh, mostly 93 octane. There was still some gas in there from before, which was 87 or 88, 87. And then I got the new exhaust, which has a very big header tube. Uh, and then, uh, I'm using 4.68 gram sliders 
4.68 Caesar they make 4.68 gram sliders no I carefully measured 0.68 grams of aluminum foil and jammed them inside my slider then reweighed them to match 4.68 why 4.68 Caesar well 4.5 wasn't uh, was a little bit too light so I went a little bit higher but why 1.168.18 I don't know that was the size of the first piece that I cut when I put it on and I decided to just kind of keep it that way anyways let's get to the riding hope you guys enjoy this I kind of just wanted to ride around today and uh, just turned into this oh my goodness I can't even see how fast I'm going because the speedometer number is so dark. I can definitely tell the wind is blowing with me today because it's like no wind noise. So for this particular stretch, I'm at 48 with no one drafting in front of me. This is my 9300, Brad. I'm almost at 9300 going 49. I think that's the Met Gears right there. Uh oh. I don't want to go right. There we go. Alright, make sure we're still recording. So the next stretch is pretty long. Uh, from right here, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, we're gonna do the serious part. As long as there's no one going like super slow in front of me, um, and I don't have to try to like pass cars off to the left, we should be good. I wonder if my phone being like this, you know what, I'm gonna try to put my feet up right here when I'm doing the speed test part, instead of right here. Maybe, maybe I'll get less wind drag. I don't know. I mean, how much drag can I possibly reduce? I mean, unless I designed like a windshield that came up like this. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> uh. Alright, I'm going up a mile 43, mile 45, 48, I think. Oh, wait, there's a construction vehicle in front of me. I do have to go over 50 I think that says 51 51 51 merge over. Dang it. There's another long stretch into Tomball that I'm going to take. See how that works out. Speed limit on the road is 50 anyway, so it's not like I was breaking any laws. And now I'm going 41 or something. Oh, the speed limit's 45. Oh, I was breaking the law by six miles per hour. That's what rebels do. Break the law. Thanks, truck, for kicking up little tiny pieces of dirt that feel like needles on my arms. Please don't go all the way straight through. Like, turn over here somewhere. I hope the GPS works on the GoPro today. Sometimes it's like super inaccurate. Mm, and it is still gonna go straight. And I need to keep going in this direction because this is the way the wind is blowing. What would happen if that van fell backwards? 
on me. I don't think it would fall, right? I mean, there's straps on the wheels and stuff holding it on there, right? Well, so far, a court. Uh oh, I didn't hit start track. Oh, now I'm tracking. Dang it, I didn't get that. So now I'm gonna. Whatever I get now is gonna be my fastest speed run on here. Uh, are you gonna turn? Come on! This is not gonna work for me. Alright, so far 48 is the max. Recorded max. The wind is a little bit worser. It's more batter. It's no bestest. Oh, come on! I'm like hitting all the lights. <laughs> Nothing but lights. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's exactly why I came up right here, so you could turn right. That's called being a considerate rider, guys. Don't block it. Don't block it. All right. So after this light underneath 99, there's a huge, long straightaway. I'm going to go ahead and take it. And then uh, turn right on this one road and I don't know, probably, I don't know. If I had money, I'd go buy a, something to eat, but that's not available right now. Of course, I have to be in the front. And everyone's going to be mad at me for being in the front. front of me get in front of me there we go all right here we go long 40 There we go. Ninety four hundred RPM, fifty one. Uphill. Fifty two, fifty three. Yeah, fifty three. I got a brake hard. I almost died. I'm going to go right here. And then do an awesome U-turn. Because no one's behind me. And come back around. Now, I think I'm going the opposite direction of the wind, but whatever. So far, the max speed is 53.4. Now, I should go slower because I shouldn't be able to have a top speed because of the... Uh, um, the lighter weights because I think I was doing all five last time so but it shouldn't be too far off I mean I was going 57.1 last time so hopefully on the stretch I can catch it I don't know the winds it says the winds blowing north but it doesn't seem like it hopefully I can find a car to get behind but how are you guys liking this so far enjoying it huh I'm trying to make it interesting. I really am. I mean, it's just riding around in one in, in a couple of directions on the side of the feeder. On the feeder. On the feeder. Oh no! This is gonna be hard. Let's see. 
88, 40, 42, 88 still, 43, 46, 47. This is like with no car and bike in front of me. And lots of headwind. Totally not like the other side for sure. I'm not getting anything over 92. 90.9 9, 9,000 RPM. Just barely over 9,000 RPM. Seven. Let me put my arm behind my back. We're still 47. Still 47. 48. Ah, oh, that was weak. I guess that's I mean that's not bad right 47 miles per hour in a giant headwind that's definitely not 57 but yeah all right we got one more straightaway to go and then uh, we'll kind of come down with a an end analysis to see what we got today hopefully these cars in front of me want to go exactly the same speed I'm going <laughs> all right here we go again thanks for the cigarette butt I really appreciate it the room behind me all right here we go
can't deal with this much headwind. No matter what I tuck, it's not getting any better. Anyway, so let's uh, let's do a little analysis of this. What we can uh, assume is that the larger header on my bike has uh, taken away a little bit of power. I guess that means I need to do some more adjusting, I guess, for my jets to see if uh, I can uh, regain some of that power again. No offense to the exhaust, but um, it does have a bigger header than what I had before. Uh, the 4.6 gram weights are great for non drafting riding. Uh, so that's like a 47, 48 with tons of headwind in your face. Um, but yeah, okay. Well, I hope everyone's gained something useful out of this. So uh, do me a favor. If you have a question below, leave it uh, below or a comment about something that I did. Uh, also, at the same time, if you like these type of videos, go ahead and give me a subscribe. I know it's late to ask someone if they wanted to subscribe. Normally, you should ask that at the very beginning. But, uh, yeah, well, I guess uh, I don't do things like everyone else does. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see everybody in the next video.